Hey everybody, this is Annie from at AnniePlans underscore on Instagram. I am super excited to be forming, forming, filming my very first plan with me. Um, I am just going to go ahead and show you guys. I just moved into my black Kiki K. It is lovely and wonderful. I love it so, so much. I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to leave Kiki K because I feel spoiled every time I open one. So here is my setup. My dashboard is from 13 Hour Creations. My planner clips are usually all from Y Davis Designs. My dividers are from the Planner Attic Box A5 Ring Bound Bundle this month. So that's what I'm showing you right there. The August um, little kit or little uh, calendar thing is also from that. And then the Today marker is from the Planner Attic Box Ring Bound Bundle bundle also. This is the week that we're going to be planning. I have my stickies and all. The inserts are from Lights Planner Action. I'm not sure if I mentioned that later on in the video or not, but they are from Lights Planner Action. Go check her out. She is awesome. All right, I lied. I wanted to show you guys the kits before we got started. So the first kit that I'm showing you is from Soda Pop Studio. This came in the June Little Miss Papery Little Mystery Box. It is in glossy. And it's gorgeous. I wanted to use it before it was too late and it is like officially fall, which is probably going to be next week. Next week or the week after. It's still warm, but it's definitely cooling up here in Ohio. So it's a two-page kit, like a little mini kit. The next shop that um, I decided I'm doing kind of two kits is from It's Planning Time, one of her fab $5 Fridays. This was um, a, a long time ago. I kind of hoarded it for a little while. But I felt like it kind of matched the other kit. And then also, um, we're going to be on the boat this weekend, so it's perfect for that. And of course, I was just having difficulty focusing it. There you go. This kit is in matte. I know some people don't like mixing matte kits with glossy kits, but it doesn't, truly really doesn't bother me that much. I can't really tell a difference, to be honest, um, in the grand scheme of things. Alrighty, just taking my stickies off and putting them at the top so I remember what kind of things I need to be writing down. I also keep a to-do list by me to make sure that I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing for the week. I usually start making that at the end of the week. Um, I had a hard time putting those tra the habit trackers down because they don't really fit very well right there. And um, I sped it up pretty quick. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I just, this part was kind of, uh, kind of long for because I messed up like two things. The habit trackers, and then you'll see here soon that I messed up the follow-up section um, with my little dots there. So, um, And then it cuts me off, of course, and I have to come back and edit in the rest of the video. Hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from here. Pun intended. Alright, so the only part that you missed was the follow-up banner that I put down. Next thing I'm doing is placing some quarter boxes at the top of the days that Ian works. Ian and I are both nurses. Um, we do not have the same schedule right now and it's very sad. We don't get to spend a lot of time together. Um, so that's why I like marking our schedules down. These stickers are from Once More With Love. She, Margaret makes me um, ones that don't have the bow and then ones that do to mark Ian and then to mark I. They are my favorite nursing stickers. Um, I've got, I've had a couple different types, but I always resort back to my munchkins. Um, I will go ahead and preface with, I am all over the place when I plan. I do not have a method to my madness. I just put down what I think is important, usually to start with, and then I go from there. Like on Thursday, I put that big box down because I know that I'm going to be driving. Um, on Wednesday, I put the build due sticker down because I know that I had a build due. Important things that I know that I need to put down, I end up putting down first, and then I kind of go back and fill things in.
So the next thing I'm showing you here are the nap time stickers from Once More With Love. Again with my munchkins. Next I'm going to go ahead and show you my little um, pouch that I use that carries everything. And this is my little, um, this new box cutter thingy. Kind of like an X-Acto knife. Um, I got it and you'll see here that I try to cut with it and it just does not work. Um, I tried it twice actually and it just was not coming off of there. It was not cutting well. So I ended up resorting back to my handy dandy X-Acto knife and got it to pop open and work that time. So usually what I do to mark long periods of time is cut full boxes that I'm probably not going to use. Um, unfortunately, I really wanted to use that one, but I really didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, so I put the nap time munchkin down and then I use the uh, little part that I cut, place it down to mark a, an extended period of time. This is supposed to mark for when I sleep before I go to work. I went ahead and zoomed in for you guys. That's about as far as I can zoom in for right now. Then I went ahead and put down a half box with the shopping day because I know that I will be going over to one of my friend's houses. Um, she has LuLaRoe. I am absolutely obsessed with LuLaRoe lately and uh, I'm going over there and probably going to you know, spend my life away and money. I put down another little quarter box at the top there and put a laptop next to it to mark that I had my schedule request due. I cut another little strip for Tuesday to mark um, my sleeping. I measured it to make sure that I have kind of the same width or the same um, length and placed that down. From here, I went ahead and um, took my Y. Davis Designs watercolor sunshine and put it behind Ian's little head there, little Ian Munchkin, um, because he goes back to days, which is even worse for our schedules, unfortunately. But we make do and we make it work. So next I'm taking a quarter box and a Thumbprints Co. workout dumbbell set. That will be to mark down my 21 day fix. Don't ask me how it's going. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's going well. Um, I really, really like the workout that I'm, the workouts that I'm doing. Now I'm going to go ahead and place down my coffee cups. I usually do that um, because I always get coffee before I go into work. Those are from Thumbprints Co. also. I love her little doodle stickers. I have an order from her coming also. I can't wait to do like a big haul of all of my favorite shops that are coming. Next, um, I remembered I looked at my to-do list and I saw that Thursday... I had a bunch of stuff to do, so I went ahead and placed down some scallop quarter boxes. I really love those scallop quarter boxes. I'm definitely going to have to get a whole sheet of those. So from here, I was kind of looking at my to-do list, trying to see what I wanted to put down next. Um, sometimes this is what I do when I plan, kind of have like a creative block. Um, but finally decided that I wanted to use one of the quarter boxes to mark um, watching a TV show on Wednesday. Yep, Wednesday. And that'll probably be Ian and I watching Supernatural. That's our show right now, and that's kind of what we do. Um, unfortunately, that's the most exciting our relationship gets right now. Um, I'm making a date plan for us to go rock climbing soon. We've been wanting to do that for a while, so I'm planning that. We're getting that set up. I went ahead and put a laundry day sticker down on Sunday because I will be coming back from Putten Bay on Saturday, and we'll definitely need to um, 
to do some laundry. Saturday, I put down a appointment box slash quarter box to mark that I would be coming home. And then from there, I went ahead and started to plan Friday. Again, I am just all over the place, I know, but this is how I plan. So hopefully you guys enjoy it still. Um, maybe one day we'll get to the plan as you go. Um, so the first thing I put down on Friday was Ian's class. He's He has a class, and I just want to make sure like I wouldn't text him or something and bug him while he's in class. These little emojis that are adorable are from the Coffee Monsters Co. I wanted to mark down a bigger chunk of time, so I flipped the half box and made it longer. But you will see I end up changing that completely. I put down a half box on Friday to mark that we were going to be grilling out. Um, I couldn't find a grill sticker anywhere, so I probably will just leave that like that. Again, like I said, I didn't end up liking moving it. It's planning time. Her stickers are very easy to peel up. Um, I do like that about her stickers a lot. Then I went ahead and put down the little um, The Adventure Begins sticker because it's cute and we're going to be out on the boat most of the day that day. And then I randomly decided to put a Happy Munchkin down because I was super excited to leave and go on this little mini vacation. And then again I went, I looked, and I was like, nope, I do not like this, so I changed it again. <laughs> I put the full box or the half box in the middle and then I went ahead and used one of the deco pieces from its planning time kit. Then I finally was satisfied. From here, I use my little note section. I usually put two of the things that I definitely want to get done in the note section, um, but I have a more comprehensive list that I use um, that I will show you at the end on my weekly overview. That has helped me and saved my life. I seriously cannot tell you how much I love the weekly overview as an add-on to my planner. By the way, my inserts are from Lights Planner Action on Etsy. Um, she has ones that you can actually, like the dates are on them already. I stamped in the dates because I don't know if I'm going to be using, you know, my Inkwell Press or the, or the Lights Planner Action inserts. But let's be honest, I'm probably going to be using these because they're awesome. Went ahead and put Oh Hey Sticker Co. leggings down to mark my steps, which is usually what I use that to-do box for workouts, step tracking, stuff like that. From here, I went ahead and put on Sunday that I wanted to plan. I don't know if I'll do another plan with me. I might be really tired from the weekend that I have planned this weekend this coming weekend, so we will see. And then I was trying to figure out where to put this cute little deco from Soda Pop Studio Kit, and then I decided finally that I liked it where it was there. I put down a relaxed sticker from Chrissy Ann Designs on Saturday, because when I get home I'm probably going to be tired and ready to just chill. On the couch, again, probably watching Supernatural. <laughs> These are the I had a bad day munchkins. I put that down because I was sad that my week was over and that I was going to have to go back to work on Monday. Um, so this was the end of the plan with me because I am not sure how I feel about doing all my writing and lettering on camera. Um, but there are a few things that I will still fill in eventually, um, but I don't like doing that until I know exactly what I'm going to be doing um, that week. This is my weekly overview. There are the stickers that I pulled.
Moving on to this next part, um, you can click off here if you want, but I have a couple things that I got in the mail this week and I wanted to kind of do a double whammy and do a little bit of both this week with the plan with me and a little bit of a haul. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is Little Miss Papery. And for the life of me, this thing would not focus. There we go. There's a new sticker. That was her sneak peek of the fall. Mojito is coming back. I can't tell you how excited I am, but really I'm excited for Golden Glam. I, like, absolutely need that kit. Please, Brittany, I'm begging you. <laughs> she knows I've been begging her for forever to bring it back. If you're not in the Little Miss Papery Facebook group, you need to be because it's amazing. This is the Daydream kit in personal, and this is the Bloom kit in personal. She is doing away with these kits very soon, um, so I wanted to grab a couple of those. She also included an invoice sticker, or it was actually a sticker, but she included the invoice um, info, and that's always nice. I like when they do that. This is my order from AliExpress. I got a little collection tape um, cloud thingy. I actually got two of them, but I'm just showing you one. And then there's that darn cutter thing that barely works. Um, I'm hoping I can figure out how to get it to work efficiently. Next is the Big Hero stickies. I love using stickies. They're perfect. And then, of course, if they're cute, it just makes it more fun to use. Some die cuts that are really cute. I will be doing pocket letters soon again, hopefully. Um, I'm excited to start doing my crafty stuff again. And then I got these adorable little face stickers. How freaking cute are those? They're kind of like another emoji icon. Emoji, munchkin, whatever you want to call it. This next shop is Area's Daydream. Another shop that I was super excited to order from. She included the invoice. Again, love when people do that and a little bit of cardboard to protect the stickers. This one I actually didn't open. I opened the package and I looked at the stickers, but I didn't actually open the sticker package. I'm kind of proud of myself. All right, there's the freebie, adorable. Again, I was having trouble getting this to focus, but I love these little things to mark um, the time of things. And then this was the whole reason I ordered from her shop. Look at how adorable these coffee cups are. Her sticker paper, I want to say, is like a semi-gloss paper. It's really nice paper. Next shop I ordered from and had a huge order from, and will probably be placing another huge order, is Planner Penny. Um, I love vinyl stickers. I know not everybody does, but I truly adore them. So the first kit I'm showing you that I got is the Beauty and the Beast kit. I plan on using that kit when the movie comes out, so I'm going to be hoarding it for a little while. This is the kit I'm going to be using for Halloween week because I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's such an underrated movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's fantastic. Um, the Lion King is one of my favorite movies. I just went ahead and got it because it's adorable. There really were a few that, few more that I wanted to get, but I didn't end up getting, and we'll probably end up getting this week. These are her little snarky, um, I guess, pinup ladies, or sassy ladies from the 80s, 90s. She's got 60s, 70s. She's got all kinds of versions of them. Next sheets, I got two of these. Um, I think I'm going to start breaking up my planner, so you'll see those in the next video. I love these little scallops and the habit trackers. This kit I am so excited about and that's why I was like oh my gosh I need to zoom in and show you guys Lorelai and Rory's faces. I'm going to be using these for when oh my goodness sorry about that. That is loud on my end. I hope it's not as loud on your end. Um, two more kits that I got just like simple little kits. Again mini kits. Also, last part I got, and I clearly already like dug into, 
were the um, Rio Olympic stickers. So I was super excited to use those and I already like wrote on them and everything. Sorry about that. And the last thing that I got this week that I actually purchased last night was the printable from Quirky Heart. That sheet I actually ended up messing up and um, reprinted, but I wanted to show you guys how I used it in my spread for next week. Um, eventually I will probably do a plan with me in my personal also, but this is this week, this coming week for that one. All right. So I'm just going to snap my inserts back into my planner and be done with this plan with me. Again, thanks for bearing with my awkwardness. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, whoever is watching. And um, follow me on Instagram at AnniePlans underscore. And put, any comment, put anything in the comments, suggestions, recommendations, criticism, but be nice. And thank you again for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.